It all started with this droid, B-15678. Attacking our fields, lighting them on fire, completely unprovoked, and trying to kill Gomez in our shelter when he's all by his onesies. Little Gomez was a doofus back then, trying to kill him with a wooden stick. Eventually he figured it out though. Next time we found these droids, they attacked us the second after we had just assaulted a ginormous base and we had yet to recover or even store our loot, and half the colony was on mental breaks. We took them out, but whoo, frustrate. So I figured, all right, we'll hit these droids where it counts, right in their base in Felucia, stealing their prisoners. Their response was to attack us with a giant army in our newfound peaceful base on Endor, which forced us to run away. Cementing our hatred of them for all time. And so, a plan. We'll crash the easy Tuscans, steal their loot, buy nukes, and evaporate the droids. And boy, did this plan work out beautifully. Uh, except for the minor death of Kirel Yasugi. Uh, as well as Bomba shooting Renton in the back, kind of killing him. And, of course, Grikash Yok being eaten by one of our crate dragons. Yeah, those things aside, though, plan worked great. We had two Resurrector mech centers so we could resurrect Kiyosuke, as well as Renton. But then, Bumba kinda died from a lack of Luciferium. So is there one more Resurrector mech center in this base? And will we exact our final revenge on the droids in this last episode of Extreme Jawas? Yes, boys, there it is! <laughs> that was close. Use a Resurrector Mech Center Alma on Bomba. Oh, well, look at that, boys. Not only is Bomba resurrected, but his 10,000 bruises are gone and he's back in action. Ooh, well, that was cool. Hey, speaking of cool, check out this Z6 Rotary Blaster Cannon. Awesome. All we needed now, though, was food to go caravanning to sell the 8 million weapons that we had to buy nukes to evaporate the droids. However, the extreme Jawa love triangle had one more unexpected turn. <gasps> Bumba? Tried to flirt with Kiyosuke by commending her class? What? Bomba's attempting to initiate some illicit proceedings with a hot naked Wookiee? What? When? Why? What is this? I don't even feel like Bomba deserves Alma anymore. Now I'm rooting for Gomez. What does Alma currently think of Gomez? Plus 19, deep talk, plus 121. Divorce me is finally starting to wear off. It was negative 80, now it's down to negative 69. Chit chat, plus 10. Failed to romance, negative 28. But what about Bumba? Plus 32 from deep talk. Insulted times two, negative 31? What? Apparently Bumba is now insulting Ulma and trying to hit on hot Wookiees. Holy. Oh, boys. Bumba has done it. Bumba is riding the crate dragon. Looks like he's actually in the snout. Crate dragon one. Wait, look at him, guys. Look at him. Look at little crate dragon one. He's so small. He hatched. Huzzah! Immediately begin the training. <gasps> Gomez tried to attract Alma by telling a tale about adulthood. Gomez has finally grown up, boys. He understands what it's like to be an adult Jawa. And he's trying to convince Alma he's not as reckless like he was in his youthful days. Alas, 
Olma turned her back. God, what a scornful, scornful, scornful Olma this is. And, amazingly enough, Olma really likes Bumba now. I guess the the sting of the insults has worn off since they haven't been near each other. And Bumba kind of calmed down after he saw the hot, hot keel Suki walking through the streets. He's like, why can't you just look more hairy and rotund? <laughs> <gasps> Gomez did it again, boys. Walked by Oma and he tried again, second time today. Gomez tried to flirt with Oma by jokingly poking at her weight. He's like, Oma, I don't think you're a giant rotund hairy wookie. Oma turned her back. Bloody hell, Oma. Now she doesn't even like Gomez that much. Oh. Whoa, I just saw another heart, boys. <gasps> Gomez pursued Kiri Little Suki by subtly complimenting her open mindedness. Boys, apparently, Olma was just a ruse. The real battle is who will win the heart of the hot, ginormous, rotund, naked military Wookiee with a little dust mop. <laughs> Okay, I guess Gomez has just given up. He's 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 tried so many times on Alma, he just can't handle it anymore. Ooh, a combat supplier from Northwest Koista has shown up. Oh, what fortunatous timing. Oh, they had no way. They brought us the fusion warheads? What? We don't even have to go on the caravan? Oh, you've, they've got six of them? I cannot believe they're walking in with six nukes and they will buy all, and I mean all of our weapons before we even send out the caravan. Oh my God. All right. One hundred percent perfect. They'll even buy all of our statues. Twenty-two thousand eight hundred, and that's just enough for two fusion warheads. Boom! Now we're allied with them. What was the value of that trade? I wonder. <laughs> for now, though, let's make sure those two fusion warheads are hauled super urgently. Gomez, if you're up there, just. Yoink him. Don't leave him outside. Thank you. <laughs> Gomez is riding Kagachi the Crate Dragon with not one but two fusion warheads on his shoulders. <laughs> oh my god. This game. Oh, little bb 10s like, oh yeah, go Gomez. Insane. Three days later. Speaking of three, we have 307 or 311 simple meals now. Yeah, we're ready to go. Oh, what? The Tusken Raiders are sieging us? You're gonna be kidding me? They're like, get them boys, we want our base back. Oh, that's so cute. Especially because look at how many of them there are. I wanna come down here and greet these guys cordially. Damage the Tusken Raider. Okay, sure. This will be hilarious, actually. Whoo! They're assaulting the colony, boys. <laughs> Boy, those Tusken Raiders! <laughs> I didn't even get to literally see them. They just collapsed. Toodles, David and Stebbins, tell your friends. That was a good siege. <gasps> oh, 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 boys! Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Ah, Gomez Rude Killer Suki by joking about peas. 
Kirillosuki was attracted and is now Gomez's lover. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, Alma, you had your chance. You had your 9,000 chances, in fact. Let's look down here. Uh, looks like more recently, Gomez tried three times on Alma. Three times to woo her, and he just got sick of it. Rebuff me times three. After all those deep talks and chit-chats up the wazoo, he just couldn't handle it anymore, and he has wooed the ginormous, rotund, naked female military Wookiee, known as Kyo Diolasuki. So much less effort, too. All he had to say was, hey, giant furball, you like peas? Kiyosuke was like, Well, at least there's a happy ending for Gomez. One way or another. He tried every stop in the book, but it just wasn't enough. Or picky picky Alma. Anyways, my attempts to get Gomez and Alma together resulted in 400 meals! More than I've ever had in 1500 hours of playing RimWorld. So it was just about time to leave. Look at this, boys. Gomez and Ulma on the final night together. Side by side, as Bumba walks by. Gomez is like, all those efforts, Ulma, they were all worth it, because they made me grow up into a real masculine Jawa in adulthood. And now I've got a furry, hot, naked Wookiee for the rest of my days, as R2 wanders by riding a crate dragon. <laughs> What a peaceful final night here. So fitting. Oma and Bomba are tucked in. Fast asleep in Mandalorian style. Renton's not doing too bad either. R2 is just riding a crate dragon for fun at this point. BB-10's furiously going around cleaning. Basically, the only thing he knows how to do. Oh! Kiyosuki put the... Stormtrooper helmet on? Kiyosuki is apparently doing Wookiee Stormtrooper cosplay lovemaking with Jawas? <laughs> Legendary! Alright, let's have the droids pack it up. Let's go. I'll hit up the Pantorans in 0.7 days. With that, we're off. Oh, all right, boys. Abandon. We've arrived at the settlement Wesk. We can buy some simple things like flak pants, cloth Mandalorian clothing, just basic shirts stuff that we just don't have and everyone had to drop before and we never replace them because why not now there's a little something that happened to gomez that i haven't told you about yet oh my god oh my god oh my god gomez's leg was shot off because i put him on alert and wandered through a pathway and this thing just clipped him casually well, Gomez don't need no legs, boys. The more bionic, the better. And wouldn't you know it, the game gave us a quest for a bionic leg guarded by only nine puny bandits. Here's how that went. Okay. Well then. I have nothing over there. What about over here? We should make one of these a medical bed. Well, we're gonna give Gomez the bionic ear. Let's say left, left, left. Let's go fully left side. So Gomez is just half a bionic. We'll also give him the stomach. Fantastic. We'll give him the glitter world meds because there's a bunch of them sitting around right here anyway. We'll have him install the stomach, no problems. Boom. 
The whole reason we did this was to install the bionic leg for this quest here, the robber encampment. It says historical. You completed this quest. We're supposed to get a bionic leg and the camp loot. The thing is, there is no bionic leg inside here. So I guess we just got the camp loot, quote unquote. And because we didn't have a base, we just have a caravan. And this is a new feature, I believe. It doesn't actually drop you uh, the leg. So I think we're just not going to get it. Unfortunate, because that's the whole reason I came here. In any event, we'll just hang out here for a little bit and then we're off. That's unfortunate. Gomez couldn't become the true bionic Jawa overlord I really wanted him to be. But alas, the time had come for one final assault on the droids. We'll rest up and attack before dawn. And the final battle commences. Confirm. Let's go see what their base looks like. Oh, wow. It's wow. 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 It's way down here in the corner instead of in the middle of the map. I didn't know that was even possible. How many enemies do they have? BX Droid Commando. What the heck? Okay. They've got three droid Dakars, 16 B1 specialists. How many super battle droids? 11. B2 Super Battle Droids, 10 B1 Battle Droids non-specialists. Whoo! So in total, they have 41 units that we can see. And look how many things they could have where we don't see. <gasps> no way. No way. No way they have a wooden statue of all the boys! <laughs> That's amazing! Absolutely amazing. All right. What is the plan to dispatch of these doofuses? I'll tell you what it is right now. Thermo nuclear warheads. We're going to put one right here, wipe out all these guys, and hopefully not destroy all of the loot that I would really like to keep. The most extreme Jawas will end this campaign the way, the only way they know how. Extreme, extreme, extremeness. Oh boy, their shells are incoming now as well. Boy, imagine if they actually hit our nuke and it detonated right now. <laughs> what an ending that would be. Oh, I thought we were on hold fire, but no. Gomez actually launched the shell already. Okay, here we go, boys. Just in case you can't see it, that's it right there. I really wanted to aim that myself. Let's see where it goes. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I think it's gonna come right here. Get ready. Get ready. Oh god, it's still going. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes! Where the hell is it going? Wow! It landed inside the room. And as such, it was contained by the steel walls. Look at the dust everywhere. Holy, that's not what we wanted at all. There's too many droids. This this last one has to hit. Let's hold fire this time. Let's pick the most intelligent place. Set the force target kind of right here in the middle. Awesome. Delete the hold fire. Let's make sure the incendiary doesn't hit us. Looks like it's... Oh, God. Look at that, boys. Look at that. Ooh, they got close. Oh, God. Here comes our final shell. Let's hope that incendiary one misses. Yep, it does. Fantastic. Here's our shell, though, right there. Now, we want to see exactly where it lands, and I'm hoping it lands right here. Right here. Get ready, boys. Get ready. <laughs> Take that, Separatist Droid Army! Wrecked! Oh 
Holy, that was awesome. That was so awesome. How many things just died? So I don't even see. Some of them are attacking. Some of them are fleeing. The specialist droids look like they're running. The super battle droids look like they're coming out to fight. That was cool. All right, if they're going to come out here to fight, then we need to be ready to fight them. There it is, boys. Alma on Ollivander. Gomez on Kagachi. Bomba on Yumi, the crate dragon. Here they come. Let's get Kiyosuke around the corner for now. Nice. Kiyosuke's already down to one. I feel like they're going to come over here. Ooh, they're attacking Retin from around the corner. Not a big deal. We can just go hide and bait them towards us. Come on, guys. As soon as they come around this corner, get them, boys! Woo! Retin, you ready? Get in there and stab that one. Shells are flying over. Not a big deal. Kiyosuke at the corner. Awesome. Let's just charge out the Bomba and Gomez. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Where did we even get hit? In the brain? <laughs> Gomez. Gomez had bionic everything and he got one shot through the brain. He literally only got hit once. Oh no, why did I charge out like a maniac? Don't worry, boys. Bomba died once, so can Gomez. He won't be dead forever. Would that it were true, boys. Would that it were true. But alas, this being a droid base, it had no medical rooms. So there was no serums, and there was no resurrector to get Gomez back up. Gomez was dead, and he was dead for good. And that's the end of our story. The end of the extreme Jawas, and it's the end of this channel. All I can say is that I'm proud of Gomez. When he started out as a wee youngin, he didn't know what he wanted in life. He was married to Alma, but he tossed her aside. He soon realized the error of his ways and tried to win her back for year after year, having to live with and watch Bumba form a lasting relationship with Alma right before his very eyes. Think of how painful that must have been for him. But he never gave up. He never surrendered. He improved himself. After he knew what was really important to him in life, he did everything he could to improve his skills, to become the best Jawa that he could be. And in the end, that paid off. Gomez realized what it was like to grow up. He found love. And even if it was cut far, far, far too short, for a brief moment, he found happiness. I know he's just a bunch of pixels, and I know most of his personality comes from me role-playing. But Gomez is my hero. This channel has been the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. It has been seemingly endless frustration and failure. But we never gave up. We never surrendered. And hopefully you're getting the idea that we're getting better with every single video. And as much as it pains me to say goodbye to this channel, I am excited to announce the Crasher of Man's channel. 100% amazing action, fun, storytelling, drama, hysterics, love, laughter, and friendship. If you guys are interested, click the button on the screen right now, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.